וואי, הצלם לא ב... לא, אני לא רוצה להגיד את זה בעברית. תגידי בעברית, לא רק... אה, הנה. among the most beautiful cats in the world as far as different species go. Um, down here in the United States, the last ones are found in Texas, the last, the last breeding population of ocelots. And there's only about 80 to 100 ocelots left in the wild. Yeah, so historically, you know, they were really widespread from Texas up to Arkansas, Arizona, and Oklahoma, and even some into Louisiana. However, you know, back um, when the fur trade became very popular, they were hunted down for their beautiful fur, and then also loss of habitat, um, human encroachment, large cities being built, and roadways. So roadways are one of their number one killers today, um, high-paced roadways next to their habitat. The work we've been doing on this trip would produce some embryos with frozen ocelot sperm from a wild male. And that'd be the first time we, we basically had crossed a wild ocelot with one in a zoo population. But that's part of the process that we have to build up the, the managed population in the breeding facility that we can rewild and put back in nature. Just look at the cat. I mean, why would you not want that animal to survive in nature? They're beautiful, but a lot of people frame this from the, the standpoint of um, ecological services and how humans benefit from nature. And so the ocelot is just one small, small, small part of this whole big picture. It's not just saving the ocelot, it's saving the habitat and the ecosystem where it lives, which supports so many other animals and that provide those services that let people survive on this planet. So if you care nothing about the ocelot, but you care about yourself and your kids, you want the ocelot to be in nature because then there's environmental support for your existence on this planet.